Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Tally Faye. Uh, got the uh, biscuits done, and they turned out beautiful. I'll show them to you in a minute, but we are going to get started on this uh, Texas spaghetti dish that I make all the time. I've got my um, spaghetti cooking. It's just regular old spaghetti. I've got that going, and I'm starting to cook my hamburger meat here, right? So I've got all different kind of spices and stuff that I'm going to add to it. So I'm just going to set y'all right here and let me get started on that part of it. But I just, uh, I have in here about a pound and a half, I'd say. About a pound and a half of uh, regular old hamburger meat, right? So I'm going to take it and I'm going to start off with, um, of course, garlic powder. Give me some garlic powder in there. That's the powder now, remember that. Because this other stuff is, you know, so salty. So I'll put a pretty good bit of that that in there. And then I'm gonna take uh, uh, some of this, this tomato uh, bouillon. It's tomato and chicken in there. It's got the chicken bouillon going on in it, but. So I'm just gonna take me about a, a heaping cereal spoon full of it. Put it off in there. I'm gonna do me some uh, paprika. Dump my paprika off in there. And uh, some black pepper here. And then, well I'll wait just a minute on the red pepper flakes things. I'm going to stir that up in here a little bit. Let it start seasoning the meat kind of good like. Y'all know it's an instant wonderful smell when you start adding all the spices and all that and everything. So I'm going to turn that down low. Let me see. I wanted to show y'all. Let me bring you back over here for a minute. If I can get you up here. I've got a, all these fresh things that I'm going to add to it. But right now, some of this beautiful fresh parsley that I got from Texas U.S. Farms, I'm going to take it. I'm going to put it in my little, uh, my little chopper here, my little hand chopper. All right. And I have some of these uh, garlic pods that uh, you can already get from the, store that are clean and ready. They're a little bit expensive, but man, I don't know. Sometimes I'm willing to pay a little extra for stuff like that, all right? And I've got, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put me one of my, well, I have some left. That's what I was going to do. I have enough of these left, uh, the chopped green onions from when I did the uh, cheddar biscuits a while ago. So I've got green onion in here. Lots of fresh parsley and um, some garlic pods. I want to put just a little bit more, a couple, three more of them. And I'm going to get me some uh, olive oil and put in here. Just a splash. Okay. And I'm going to crank this little booger up. Get that done. around a little. And it should be good enough. Absolutely. Okay. This little thing's handy. See, and it just doesn't like that. So I've got that oil in there. Now I'll bring you back over here. Look, there's the biscuits. Look at them. You can see the the dill in them, and the green onion, and the garlic chives, and the cheddar. They turned out really good. Look, and they're big old thick ones. Oh, I believe we'll enjoy that. I wish you could smell those. They smell really good. Okay. All right, I'm gonna set you right there. Got my meat going now. It's done. So I'm going to go ahead and add all this.
this to it. And I just chopped up my, my parsley and my garlic, green onion, a little olive oil in there. We're going to get this added to the meat first thing. Let it start getting all in there. Stir it around. Let me check my spaghetti noodles. I do not like for my spaghetti to get um, mushy. Do y'all? You like, you like your spaghetti, uh, what do they call it, al dente or whatever? It took just a little, few more minutes before I test it, but I think it's almost to where I want it because I'm going to add it into this skillet. And I know that uh, lots of times people like to do their sauce stuff up or whatever and then add their spaghetti noodles and stuff to it and let them cook in there, but I just I don't like to do that. I don't like all that starch in there it creates. I don't know. That's just me. I like to do my noodles on the side, and then I can add them in here to see... Uh, how many I want to add to it and they're already cooked so I know I won't overdo it because I am terrible about making too much spaghetti too much rice I'm one of those people right okay I'm fixing to take this little can of tomato sauce here open it up I just do it with my little church key thingy all right, I'll put that in there. One can of this here tomato sauce. And then I have a can of the fire roasted diced tomatoes, okay? The fire roasted means everything, y'all. If you don't have them, you can use, you know, like some stewed tomatoes or something or I've used Rotel many times. We love Rotel tomatoes, and we cook them in a lot of things. I, I cook them in a lot of things, but these fire roasted ones, there's just something there, right? Something about it. Hey, look how it's making it look. See, that's where I'm at on it right now. Okay. All right, let me... Set you back down. Now, I'm fixing to add. And remember, some of these things you don't, you know, if it's flat things you don't like, you know, you don't like them, don't add them and stuff. But I like to add a little zip to it. The crushed red pepper, okay? I'm going to sprinkle some in here. Sometimes I can stomp my toe on this. Buzz likes a little zing. I like a lot of zing. So I try to hit a happy medium for us in there, right? Okay. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Let me check this. I think this is ready. Get me one of them out and let it cool off and I'll find out right quick. Is that how you do it? Yep, they're ready. I got moving on, on the, oh dang, I dropped it. On a lady in the tramp, or they're on each side of the noodle. Good stuff, y'all. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Okay. Now I'm gonna be out of the camera for a minute. Oh, you can see my sink, that's good. Okay. I'm fixing to uh, get the spaghetti noodles and shut their cooking process down. I'm gonna get them dumped in here and get some cold water running on them right quick. Cause that's where I want them to stop at, right there. When you hit them with that cold water, it will shut it down. Anytime you're cooking pasta like that, if you, you know, you get it to the point that you uh, really want it right there, well, dump it out right then, 
get over to the sink and get you some cold water going on it and it'll be perfect just the way you like it. Now see, now it's ready for me. All I gotta do is add it to this sauce when I get ready. All right, I got all my flavoring stuff in there at this point. Now I'm fixing to add me some water to it. Let's see if that's enough. I'll show y'all up close how how much water I put in it anyway. Because, here in a little bit, when I let it cook just a little bit while we're getting everything else together, um, I'm gonna put my noodles in there, and then I'm gonna get the Velveeta cheese out. And I'm gonna start dropping me some plugs of Velveeta cheese right in the middle of this, okay? That's where I'm gonna go with it. Back up here, get it going. I need the taste of it. See where I'm at on the salt and all that and everything. Mmm. Mmm, oh, I think it's good. Man. All that fresh stuff in there I done cut up in it. Look. Look how pretty it is. I'm telling y'all, them fire-roasted tomatoes just make it. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to add about a cup more water to this. Because when I go to adding that cheese in there, that cheese will take up a lot of the liquid, right? You know. So I'm going to get me about another big cup of water for in here. I wanted a little liquidy, a little bit liquidy, okay? Matter of fact, I'm going to call it a cup and a half. That's what I'm going to do there. Now I got it good and liquidy, okay? We're going to do that. This stuff over here out of the way. I tell you what, I was gonna put uh, one of these bay leaves in there and let it cook in there, but uh, with that fresh stuff that I got from Texas U.S. Farms, it ain't necessary for this bay leaf to go in there. It's already, I mean, popping with fresh, right? It is popping with it. So, but I'm not through adding that stuff to it. And I'll tell you that. I'm gonna take it. I have over here, let me get my little knife. We're gonna add this stuff right at the last, just for a wild, fresh taste of all this good stuff. I've got my green onions here. There's some garlic chives. I don't think I need to put any more of them in there, but I'm gonna take this parsley. And y'all, I never, really thought about parsley that much. I'm always, I've always thought that, what do they have it for on there? I can't taste it. You know, it's tasteless. And it is almost tasteless, but what you don't realize is that it adds a freshness. That's where it comes in for me. That's where it comes in is that there's some kind of this, this fresh thing going on that you're just like, okay, you know. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to cut it all up together right here yeah okay I hear my salsa bubbling letting all that flavor go together in there if y'all could only I know I say that all the time but man the smell of this is just amazing. The freshness is just amazing. Okay, I think that'll be enough. That'll be a big handful full of it, okay? So, now that this is good and bubbly, 
I'm going to go ahead and get my... Oh, I thought I dropped my spoon on there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get my spaghetti noodles and get them in there. Okay. And because I don't know how many I want, I'm just going to do it a little at a time out of this bowl. And any spaghetti that I have left, I end up most of the time making me a pasta salad with it. Because spaghetti's just fine. Spaghetti noodles are just fine with me for making a pasta salad. I will use them. Okay, you see what I'm doing here? I'm getting it all stirred together. It's all good and meaty like Buzz would like it. And see, if y'all didn't want the, the cheese in it, and if you didn't want the cheese in it, you could have stopped right there when, before I added the extra water to it. You could have stopped right there on adding stuff and just put your spaghetti noodles in there and let it cook for a minute. And it is, it's delicious, just like that, okay? But... This right here, we love it with the, that's where it turns it into the Texas spaghetti, I guess, to me. Because it's, it's not Italian-y, yet it does have a lot of those herbs in it. But when you add uh, that Velveeta cheese to it, that takes it to a whole different realm. Them fire roasted tomatoes are going to be delicious bites in there. All right, let me get my Velveeta. <clears throat> okay. Let me turn it on low where it can just sit there bubbling. And I just get my block out and I just start uh, pinching hunks off of it. And dropping them in there. Let me get over to the side a second here. Okay. Now, see how many I have. And uh, that's kind of up to you, too, as to how cheesy you want it. And if you're not positive, what you do is you just add a little bit and stir it in there. And let it get melted down. And taste of it. And see what you think. You may want more cheese in it. And you may be just satisfied with that. And then, like I say, if you don't want cheese in it, don't put it in there at all. If you don't want this kind of cheese. I know you might want the Parmesan or something like that or whatever, but there's a reason I'm doing the Velveeta in this and not like Parmesan cheese, right? Because this is Texas spaghetti. This is my Texas spaghetti here. Okay. Let me wash that off my fingers. Okay. All right, let's see. Let me just get it. Get it stirred up in here. And let it go to melting. And see, and I may add more to it myself even. More, or a little more than this. This makes a big old pan of spaghetti, y'all. This is a big old deep skillet. You see that? This is one, and it's a 13-inch at that. Okay? See how the sauce is starting to turn uh, a lighter color? I think I want a little more black pepper in it. A little bit more of my black pepper. Sit y'all down. And I figure if I want some more crushed red pepper in it, I can just do that on my plate, right? That way I get to have my 
bada boom with it. Okay, it's getting there, y'all. You would not believe how tasty this is. We're gonna have this, and then I'm gonna make us a, a big old pretty salad with all that stuff from Texas U.S. Farms today. And maybe make like a vinaigrette to go on it, and then we'll have our cheddar uh, and onion biscuits over there with the dill and garlic and sour cream and all that stuff in them, in the dough. So uh, that should be a wonderful, big old pretty dinner plate and bowl of salad, some cheddar biscuits, and then we'll be polishing off that uh, crumb top apple pie that I made. Y'all should try to make that. It's good. It's good. If you don't want to make the pie crust, don't worry about it. Get you a pie crust and put it in there, but take some of that, uh, get you a one that has two pie crusts in it because you'll need half of the other pie crust to take and add sugar to and keep uh, crumbling on it and stuff. Or just make you a crumb topping. You can do that with flour and butter and sugar. I believe I'm gonna say it's cheesy enough. Okay. All right. Let me get my fresh herbs and stuff over here, y'all. I'm gonna take them. I'm just gonna put them in here. All right. Look at that. All that freshness is gonna be delicious in there. And turn it off. I don't want don't want it to cook anymore. I don't want the stuff I just put in there to cook. I want that to stay uh, fresh bites when you bite it with your teeth and it that fresh herb pops in your mouth like that. It makes for a wonderful bite. But there it is, my friends. That is Callie Faye's rendition of Texas spaghetti. Now look it over, see what you think. It's very good, I promise. It's very good. So, there's our dish for the evening, and uh, I hope everybody has a good evening. Look at those biscuits again. One more time. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Should I try one? Let me see. Look at it. Let me get over here where you can really see. Look at all the stuff in it. Look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. You can taste everything in there that I put in it. Y'all gotta try that. Go to Texas U.S. Farms and get you all those herbs and stuff, and you'll see. You can make all kind of things with it. Y'all have a great evening, and uh, take care, and God bless, and we'll see you next time on In the Kitchen with Tally Faye.